Hey guys and welcome back, Lucian here with you again, like always, back in my test world. Today we're going to be looking at some big reactors, more specifically the coolant for big reactors. Now my usual disclaimer, this is version 1.7.10 of modded Minecraft, and this is the Direwolf 20 pack version 103. So let's get into the reactors. It's always been kind of debated about what's better for coolant, resonating ender or liquid cryothene. There's some other ones that I'm not considering in this little demo, but these two are always at the top of the list that are recommended for cooling. Now for the control, the reactors we're gonna be using are seven by seven by seven with a three by three grid of fuel cells. Now I was, I was always under the impression that a seven by seven by seven was the best for its class, fuel efficiency, and power output. Now Opnus disagrees with me and I built his reactor over here and we're going to compare it after we get done talking about these two. So let's get right into it. Now let's talk about the resonating ender real quick. Now in this reactor right here I only put the ender buckets around the top layer and just let it fall down versus this one over here you actually have to put every free space in here with the cryotheum. So let's see what the differences in the outputs are. So first let's get the liquid cryotheum. So with a, looks like my capacitor is full, a, this reactor right here with 100% with full, it's outputting 15,200 and some change RF a tick. And its fuel burn is right about 2 point, right under 2.5 millibuckets. So that's pretty good. It's very good power output for that size. Now let's come over here to this one. This actually reactor is putting out 15,000, right under 15,000 RF a tick for a fuel burn of a little bit over 2.5. So 15 for 2.5 15.2 for under 2.5, 2.4. So comparatively speaking of these two right here, if you built them identical, the liquid cryothium is actually a better choice since it gives you a better RF output for a lower fuel burn. Make sense? Now, I actually built this reactor back here as it was kind of an afterthought. And I wanted to make sure nothing had, had changed in the coding of big reactors. Now 1.6 when I first started messing with big reactors it didn't matter whether or not you just had the liquid enderium or liquid ender flowing down or you actually put it in every single free airspace. So I just went ahead here and built another reactor and actually filled every single spot with the liquid ender and as you can see it really makes no difference of the outputs. And you can see we cap out right at 15 and just a little bit over 2.4, 2.5, 2.51, which is where we're at right here. So really no difference. So you might as well go with the cheap version of just putting liquid ender across the top and letting it fall down. It's a little bit safer too because the more you put in there, the higher chance you get at risk of uh, getting teleported out. Unless you use like a uh, floodgate from Buildcraft or something, that would probably make it easy. Okay, so now let's jump over here. Now that's, that's pretty much the bulk of this video. Now I just wanted to kind of put some science together. And uh, one of the guys I play I was on the server with, Optimus, he always think, he thinks, and we were talking about this the other day, that he uses a 7x7x8 reactor. So I built them the exact same, just still with a 3x3 grid, just a layer taller, so that way we can have a direct comparison compared to these two right here. So let me fire this one up, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, yeah, that's still got room in it right there. No. So now this reactor right here actually puts out about 17,600 RF a tick for a fuel burn just over fluctuating around the three mil buckets per tick plus or minus and this one is 
15 even for 2.5. So if you look at these two reactors side by side, this one actually puts out more RF per tick, but this one is actually more fuel efficient. Almost basically a sixth, one sixth, as more fuel efficient compared to these two. So what's better in the situation? I really don't know. This one has better output, but it's got a higher fuel burn. This one has a little bit less fuel uh, output, but in the long run, it's probably a little more fuel efficient. So I'll let you be the judge of that. Let me know what you think and what your ideas are about what's the best and most ideal situation. Now. I'm sure a few people may point out that there are other designs of reactors. You can use an X pattern or diamond blocks in the middle. Yep, you're absolutely right. I just built this very simply. That way we can compare each of them side by side and they're almost identically the same. So this is by no means a video of saying, yep, this is the perfect design for big reactors because like in some, most of my other videos, I haven't found the perfect design. I found designs that work really good. But um, if I had to choose between this one right here and this one, I would probably pick this one right here because you're only losing about 2,000 RF a tick and your fuel burn is actually a little bit lower, uh, almost a, a seventh lower, comparatively speaking. So I don't know. We'll see. So again, thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend, everyone. Leave me any comments. Um, this is in my Direwolf 20 test pack, so if anybody wants to see this kind of spotlight demo series evolve and we start doing more projects and having world downloads, just let me know it on the comments. I'm going to save this world, and maybe we can kind of keep tinkering it, and then I'll put it up for a world download on my uh, curse page. But that's, you know, we can talk about that. Just let me know what your ideas are, and, you know, we can kind of address those as they come up new to my channel welcome thanks for hanging around got tons of other things going on stick out stick around look at my uh, some of my other videos otherwise guys have a great weekend